Hello everybody, this is Bones, welcome back to another Let's Play. Today we're doing D, uh, R, L, formerly Doom the Roguelike, it's still called Doom the Roguelike, I believe, but I know that the guy wants to kind of, uh, there was an issue apparently, a legal issue, so he's technically calling it something different now, which is D, R, L, but uh, this is a free game now that I have enjoyed a lot. Hold on, I'm gonna put this up here. I've liked it personally because I feel like it does a very good job of showing off, uh, some different things that, uh, I've seen in a lot of other games. I used to be a big fan of the Doom RPG team that came up for phones. Um, Doom Roguelike is a mix of a traditional roguelike. So we're going to go through our, and check these out here. These are our traits. So we have Iron Man. Let's bring our health finesse. If I run, it's an attack 15% faster with every level this trait. I feel like finesse is a good one. Um, you know, Hellrunner, I feel like, is not a bad one to start. And the reason is because your health is obviously massively important. Tough as Nails is a good one. Gives you a little natural armor. Uh, Badass is a pretty good one. Um, Eagle has a good one. For now, how about we start with something like Power Runner? I'm gonna be Bones. Now I'm gonna let you guys read through all this intro. So, this is my guy. Now you will notice no green armor. Bones, how come no green armor? By the way, I'm just tapping the arrow key to move here. I could probably hold it down and move a ton, but because there's a little strategy in this game, we're going to try to not do that. Um, now, the cool thing about this game is that this game is free. So let's see, I'll hit, uh, I'll hit F. That shows me a bit more about the former human. Anyway, I hit up the gun. I forgot how to dodge this, but yeah, see, I can pick up health packs to use later. Every health pack I can use later. Shit. I didn't actually want to grab that gun. Um, there's my pistol. So, this is my inventory with I. So, you can see, guys, there's a lot you can do in this game. Uh, things are turn-based, and you have skills. Now, as for the green armor, there's a reason. Mine is not green. And I will tell you all what that is, and that is that, uh, I think it's shift U and loads a pistol, so that I can just reuse the stuff. Oh, he's got a game shot from that guy. Jerk. Yahtzee, baby. We want that. Oh, look at this little sneaky beaky down here, right? Um, so no, the, the non-green armor is because we don't have armor yet. See, in this one you actually really have to earn your armor before you just get the armor, and uh, your little marine dude can be green, blue, um, there's even a red armor, which is awesome armor, but not easy to come by at all, guys. Um, and my health isn't great, but I'm trying to slow my roll here and not use uh, that other stuff now. You can also figure out how to do controls here. Um, and there's a lot of controls, guys. So, a lot of stuff that you can actually do in this game. 
Uh, like I said, it's funny because this is a free game based on the whole roguelike thing. The like of being rogue. You know, the, uh, the... You can also push things out of the way, which is awesome, especially if you don't want to be mincemeat the minute somebody shoots something. Um, I actually found this game years ago forgot about it until I found it again, and then was pretty excited to see uh, that the game was indeed still being worked on. Um, the creator of this has a Kickstarter campaign going, guys, that you should definitely um, consider donating to if you do like the game for his own game a bit like this. Uh, as you can see, he's put in a lot of work on this roguelike, and not only is this one of the smoothest roguelikes I've played, but I love, again, I'm not gonna lie, I'm certainly, oh shit, that was not a great idea at all. So, mental note, don't do that. Um, that was one of these, one of our small med packs, thank you. Ooh, that was... Pretty rough guy. Pretty rough. So yeah, you will want to uh, consider as you do all this stuff here. Alright, sorry guys, I just want to see for sure what I'm looking up. Now the weapon isn't loaded. Days. Um, you know, I played the original Rogue when it was Rogue. I'm in school. Uh, on an Atari 2 computer, I want to say. It had the tape cassette loader. If you don't know what that is, you guys should look that up. It was crazy. Um, so that was a trip. Now that is indeed a Berserk thing. Um, which you can indeed get right now. I'm just looking to try and fudge an A. That's not what I was going to say, but it's probably what I should say for the video. Uh, Jerks. No. Oh, we must end up where I am. Um. I'm sucking at this today. I swear to you, honestly, normally I'm better. Um, at this. But yeah, so this game can be crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that one always cracks me up. So you also notice more than one exit. The down here is a. Oh no, we don't want to go on that one. Uh, Hell's Arena is not a fun one to go on, as the name suggests. Not the one you want to be playing with. Berserk is a fun mode, but again, we're just gonna go down this line here. So, sorry guys, the dogs are starting to go crazy in the background. Um, one reason why I do some of these free ones, by the way, I just want to point out. I'm sorry, I know my conversation's been all over the place as I try to pay attention and play this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, my nerves are a little, like, high-end high, high end right now. I feel like I'm, uh, uh, particularly on edge because Doom... The original Doom, guys, I really wish you all could have experienced it if you were too young to find it. Um, in your life, I played it when the original came out. It was an amazing game. Um, but also creepy at like 2 a.m. hearing those weird breathing and you weren't sure what was around the corner and your health wasn't great and you didn't know how many more enemies were on the level and you were afraid to uh, afraid to die. It was certainly an interesting, interesting uh, game. <laughs> You just heard the dog again, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do How Runner again because the speed is good in this game and scraping is important on a first person shooter. So, my logic is that indeed it will help me uh, in this. Um, but as I said, this game to me is a good successor of the Doom RPG game. Uh, the trailer for that's on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you guys should, especially if you're a fan of retro gaming or just. Doom in general. Take a look at this game. Maybe if enough of you out there hype it up, we can get a Doom RPG again on the phones. 
um, it, oh, see, I picked up another freaking shotgun. Alright, so, how is that? I think it's, D drops it? No, D did not drop it. I swear to you guys, I, I know this stuff here. Um, oh, backspace. Um, see, it says it right there, with the book learning. Tells you how much reading I've done today. But, uh, yeah, there is a great deal that you can do in a game like this, and, again, I think it's a genius idea to make a RPG based on Doom. Um, so Doom Roguelike really stands on its own merit. Other roguelikes are a little more complicated. Um, some would even say a little more intricate, and I'm not going to lie. Sure, they are. I can agree with that. But what they aren't... Oh, fudge. That was not a wise idea at all for me. I died. We're going to try it again, guys. Let's try it again. Uh, let's try Hurt Me Plenty. And for this one, we'll do Tough as Nails. Um, we'll do the Bonesinator. Oh, this music. Man, do music, right? Guys, you used to get me so hyped up, man. I feel like that is the one thing you can definitely say about Doom. Even if you're not big on it, it's the music was the shit. Back in the day, this is all you really needed. You know what I mean? To be just pumped up. Now, you can dodge in this game. I don't remember how. But I promise you, you really can dodge. I'm just shitty at it because I don't remember how. But yeah, that is a thing. Guys, I'm not... Uh, sorry I suck at it. Yeah, I'm playing a harder difficulty set. So this would be a good idea to set. Not even three rooms in, and already my health is down there. Um. So yeah. Roguelikes, I think, have a long tradition, because back at the time when I started playing Rogue, uh, there wasn't another game that was all random like that, guys, and the, you'll see your little Doom guy here, even when I first started playing this game one, the first edition of this was just, like, letters and stuff like that, which is closer to Roguelike. For those of you who don't know, Rogue had no big graphics. It was, like, the letters, so I think a bat was a letter B. Well, the capital letter B might be a different creature. Um, you know, a G might be a goblin. There were things like that in it. You were the asterisk. was your character. So it was very crazy to look back on and see that this game, this early dungeon crawler, got so big because it didn't start that way. Um, it certainly ended up that way, but, you know, it, so that... Uh, gave it quite a bit of merit. Certainly cool, that's for sure. Um, this is your equipment screen, so yeah, there's boots. Good. I'm using a shotgun early now. Um, I'm definitely not going to last as long with this playthrough as I did with the last. That is apparent. I fucking hate those guys. Even in normal Doom, I... That enemy annoys the shit out of me. Those skulls... The Lost Souls are called. But yeah, not a fan. Um, so... The algorithm used in games like... Even Elite Guys, to, to give it a proper nod. And in uh, games like Rogue, were way ahead of their time, honestly, I feel. And obviously the testament to them is that 
even today we're still playing games like this that honor what they did. So obviously they were onto something. So do roguelike if you ever wanted to play a roguelike but didn't like it. Um, or just didn't think you could get into it. One last one. Uh, Alright. Let's try one I've never tried, which is being a scout. So, already here, I have intuition. Um, oh, nice. Let's see how that does. Let's tell my guy. Sneaky beak. Alright. That one's Mach 3, Sneaky Beak. Here we go. I came to have party and eat pasta, and I'm all at the party. Yeah, see, I can already see right there as the exit to the level. Oh, I don't need that yet. Um, so not too shabby. Uh, just so you know, I can actually hold this down. Um, the reason I normally don't is because in a game like this, I feel like it is more important to make sure you go slow and know where you're going. I will say this turns Doom uh, from a first-person shooter game to more of a strategy game with shooter elements. But I like it. I do. I think it's a good game. Certainly an interesting game. Um, and on top of it, you can kind of see that each thing has its own merits. Is in tight. Um, each thing has its own merits where you have a shotgun that's got more power but takes longer to reload, which doesn't matter as much in a first person shooter where you can strafe, but in a game like this, it matters more. So, the creator really did something amazing with that, and two, uh, for people who don't like roguelikes, I enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, NetHack is, of course, I gotta give a shout out to you, because NetHack is closer to the original Rogue than most of the others I've seen. Falcon's Eye is a nice graphical representation of NetHack. So, I dig that one as well. Um, And I'm sure I have nostalgia glasses on with that. So those two definitely. Uh, I do remember liking Stone Soup, I think it is called, I tried. That one's pretty cool. Adam, what's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there's some of those that are older school ones. If you are not sure, and of course, you can't even bring up Rogue nowadays without mentioning Dwarf Fortress. I could not get into it at first, it was a massively time-consuming game, very complex, but apparently it's some of the best programming uh, out of any roguelike, which I don't doubt, I mean, so many people like it, it's gotta, something's gotta be going on, right? Um, so I think there may be a puzzle to solve in this level, and there is. Uh, I will share this puzzle with you all and show you how this works. Shit. Guess maybe I won't. But we'll try it. I'm trying to make sure I'm fair enough back here, frankly. Okay, so y'all will see this thing. You know, <laughs> I'm like trying to stay as far away from this barrel as I can. Well, that was useless, wasn't it? So I don't know how how to get to the exit in this one. Boom, you were with the pistol. So I got my little mini map here. Did I somehow find a random configuration that does not allow me to advance? I don't know. Oh, you son of a... Alright guys, so you can see here we got some armor. Now watch, I will put on the green armor and boom! Classic Doom Guide. Um, like I said, this game has a lot going for it, and kudos to the developer who has kept it going for ages now, man. 
like I said, when I first found this game, um, I actually looked it up out of nostalgia just to see what ever happened to the Doom RPG one and instead came upon this, downloaded it, played the hell out of it, and it used to be a staple on my computer. Um, the Let's Play computer we're using is a different computer than the computer I used to own, and you know how it goes, you get a new computer, all this other stuff happens, time, real life happens, and I just kind of forgot about this game, so I'm actually very happy that I found it again, because uh, this is really one of the better, both roguelikes, and one of the better Doom uh, games I've seen, so if you guys like Doom, definitely put this out there for other people on Doom forums. Um, I think for legal reasons now, the official name of this is DRL. Um, I think it was Zenimax that, that uh, gave the guy a hard time, and I think it was literally just over the name Doom being used, but again, I don't get it because he has never tried to uh, necessarily get money for it. I don't know what's happened, guys, really. I don't I can't claim my due here. I don't know. I feel like Reloader would be a good one, eh? Let's try Reloader this time, guys. Because I do feel like when I reload, I'm a sitting duck, so... I'd rather not be. That's in my armor. 25%. Got that armor. Um, but you can see there's a lot to do, and this is, again, guys, a free game. I'll have to download uh, in the description for you guys. But I really hope that you guys like this one, because I find it fun. It's something different if you are... Not really a first-person person, but you do like... Oh, interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, get away from that. You can see what I don't want him to hit, obviously. Um, that could have been bad. But yeah, you know, if you're somebody who may not like uh, first-person shooters, and I know there are quite a few of you all out there, um, either you get motion sickness or you just not your thing. Um, to me, I feel like this is a hybrid game that uh, is a lot of fun. And it feels old school enough to feel like the music is dead on. Um, obviously, a lot of assets were used, but I feel like what he's done makes us game stand out enough on its own merit to definitely be its own thing. I definitely need a health back here. I'm gonna get sneaky beaky over here to Yep. I wasn't getting hit again with that shit. I really probably should have just stood there and goaded him into coming to me the first time. So far, I've been using the pistol quite a bit in the game. I probably should get used to the shotgun more. It's just hard when you have a room full of enemies because you can get your ass handed to you as you're reloading. Now that I have my reloading perk, let's see how well this works. Alright, we're ready to chew bubblegum with names. I don't think that's how that works. Now, here is a little level. This one says beneficially. Hey, hey, that's good. So, yeah, the scout does not do shabby, actually. Um, we are witnessing the first, because normally I'm never the scout. So, we'll see how we do here. But, uh, while I play, uh, I would just say that we have, uh, again, I know that for a while we weren't around on YouTube, and sorry guys, uh, I ended up a lot sicker than I thought I was, uh, and wouldn't have been good videos anyway, unless you really want to hear somebody uh, coughing non-stop in your ear, I, yeah, believe me when I say that, oh, that's not good. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things does not come on. 
Well, he's not moving. I'll, I'll kill him. Um, I will say it makes me nostalgic too. <gasps> Double shotty. We'll do that. No. Not the double. So I will leave the normal. But yeah, I mean, to me, guys, I feel like this game was definitely the way to go. Um, I mean, how can you not like do? I don't know anybody. Well, I suppose you could not like Doom, but I don't know why you would not like Doom. Even if you don't like first-person shooters, you should be able to appreciate that Doom was a hybrid horde shooter at a time where not a lot of that was going on. Like, I don't know if you all remember, but Wolfenstein 3D actually had a rating on these software before you open it, the original Wolfenstein 3D. Um, why was Wolfenstein 3D called Wolfenstein 3D? If you do not know this, I will tell you it is because the original Wolfenstein was a goofy looking little uh, Commodore 64 game. I played it on Commodore 64. Called Escape from Castle Wolfenstein. Played nothing like Wolfenstein 3D. Um, but anyway, so, you can't go wrong with free, this is one of the better versions of Doom I have played, and believe me, if there's a version out there, I've played it, you all will even know that I covered, uh, one of my other favorite, what would you call it, I guess, iterations of Doom, uh, which is Brutal Doom, which I've always enjoyed. Um, but we are talking solely here today about this amazing version. The use of skills I really like in this game. And I think, um, it brings a lot to the game, but I also think it makes sense. And at least on some level, skills like this for a game that is turn-based, it at least makes you feel less like you're getting your ass handed to you unfairly. Not that I guess there's a fair way to handle your own ass, but you know. Uh, I just feel like if you're going to be fighting in hell, or even Iowa, wherever, that uh, when somebody mixes a game like this up, they either put in features that are great or horrible. And in this case, they were great. They were a great decision. So... Oh, this is a... Oh, Jesus. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a little pumped up right now. I remember now... Uh, do I have a chain gun? Do I have a chain gun? No, I have a chain gun. Um, that noise, guys, that noise when I was younger. Holy cow, did that noise creep me out. I think for me, when I was younger, Doom represented the kind of game that felt very... I'm sorry, guys. Uh, that felt very 80s. We're doing a video! Be professional! Go over there. Staff meeting later. Okay. That dog is in timeout now. He's not really in timeout, but he's gonna have a staff meeting later, that dog. I think a monster just blew himself up. That was actually pretty funny. Uh yeah, I actually think my scout is doing better than the marine. So Dude, imps used to be a pain in my ass. Seriously. Um, 
let's get Eagle Eye in as well. Eagle Eye is a good one for shooting, which we're doing a ton of. Now, you can be like a melee guy in this game, but I'm not going to lie to you. I have not seen uh, a reason to be a melee guy in this game, so I'm just not going to be a melee guy in this game ever, probably. It's just not my forte. Now, on one level of this, you will end up having to go to Hell's Arena either way. I really wish that was still an optional thing. Um, but, I mean, again, it's a small nitpick for a game that is decent, that I enjoy, so I'm not really going to be, you know, weird about it. Uh, I feel like there's enough you can do in the game uh, where... Okay. Decisions, decisions, guys. Got rid of the pistol. Is it a smart idea? Probably not. I'm wearing steel boots, so you'll see my little boots. Jerks. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, so this is Doom Roguelike. A great game that is a lot of rogue. Uh, again, character sheet. Traits, advanced traits, resistances, all sorts of stuff going on. Mixed with Doom into a bird's eye, well, not quite bird's eye view, tap down, we'll say. Um, tap down ish, maybe. I'll just get the damn game. It's free. Click the link. Uh, I do hope you enjoy it. I certainly enjoy it. I like sharing games with you guys that I think are fun. And I enjoy sharing games with you guys uh, that are free because, you know, hey, free's good. In an age when so many games cost like $60 per game now, always stay free. Oh my god, this dog. Anyways, I'm gonna go and fight our dog with our staff. <laughs> I'm going to go fire dog for my staff. I am Bones. Uh, happy demon killing, guys.